So measles is one of the most contagious diseases known to medicine, and it's spread by airborne droplets. So anyone who has been in a room who has measles, every time they sneeze, every time they cough, the droplets end up in the air and are highly contagious for two full hours after that person leaves the room, which is why it's so highly contagious. So anyone who has either not had measles, the virus itself, or who has not been immunized and who is immune that way, has a nine out of 10% chance of getting measles if they are in close contact with a patient who has measles. So what that means is that if you are a healthcare provider taking care of a patient with measles and you do not have immunity, or if you live with someone or, who, or have spent a lot of time with someone who has measles, you have a 90% chance of catching the disease. And that's why this disease is so important from a public health perspective. The issue of how contagious someone with measles is, is a little bit scary because you are actually contagious four days before you develop the, the classic rash. And then you're contagious for a full four days after the rash develops. So four days after you've developed this full body rash that people with measles tend to get, you're no longer contagious, even if you still have the rash, but four days before you're contagious when you don't know you have the disease. Adults can get the measles from being exposed to someone who has measles. You cannot get measles from what we in medicine call a vector, a rodent or a mosquito, the way that you get West Nile virus. You only get it from direct contact. Now, direct contact can be from being in a room that someone with measles left two hours ago because it's an airborne disease. So if someone coughs or sneezes, that virus is in that room and you can get it from being in that room for two full hours. So the answer from the CDC is that if you have not seen your vaccine records, that you should be revaccinated or have titers performed. So you can either go to your physician and get a blood draw that'll show that you're immune or you can go to one of a number of different healthcare facilities to get boosted. The most common and easy place is probably to go to a CVS Minute Clinic or a Ready Clinic or a clinic like that. Most adult practitioners do not carry the MMR vaccine. Um, pediatricians all carry the MMR vaccine, but most adult doctors do not. The, um, the CDC says that if you were born before 1957, it is assumed that you have gotten measles naturally because it is so contagious that everyone born before 1957 got the disease. There are no risks to getting vaccinated additional times. So even if you had the initial two, um, the initial two MMR vaccines, if you start over and get the two doses again, there is no risk. I'm glad that you asked about complications of the measles because this is one of the things that makes it so imperative that we get people who have not been vaccinated or parents who are against vaccinating their children to get their children vaccinated. One thing that I point out is that one out of every four children who get this virus will end up not just hospitalized, but hospitalized in the intensive care unit. This is a very serious disease. And then a small percentage of people will develop encephalitis with, with permanent brain damage from this uh, virus. And there's a subacute to chronic condition that will present seven to 10 years later. Again, rare, but it's a, another form of encephalitis that will 100% result in death. So that's something that we cannot predict which patients will get that condition, but it won't present for seven to 10 years. 
So this is not the common cold. This is a very serious infection that can result in permanent brain damage and one for which we have a safe vaccine that can prevent the disease.